18 years of rat infestation with two to three pest control companies with no success. We're about to get started right now. All right, guys, me and the team just showed up here. Uh, we are in San Diego, so it's a beautiful morning. We're gonna go ahead and meet Lee, and he's gonna explain to us exactly what's been occurring. He's owned the house for about 18 years, and uh, he just cannot tolerate the activity that's happening inside of his house. So let's go inside and meet him, see what's going on. Hopefully we could solve this bad baby. So here's the house, huh? Yep. Okay, beautiful. So you guys, Lee was telling me you've had several pest control companies out as well and absolutely no success still. No success. And 18 years of dealing with this? Yes. 18 years. Wow. So the most activities in this bedroom, would you say? Uh, the most, but we've heard on the uh, other, the end bedroom too. Okay. You can see that they've uh, attempted a lot of different trapping. Got a lot of mice, snap traps, uh, glue. This one flipped over. So this, this attic doesn't really give us the ability to get to the other side where that bedroom where Donna was telling us. All right, we're gonna take a peek now inside, uh, inside this area right here. Okay, so this is the other attic entrance above that uh, bedroom here. Let me take a look over there. I notice there's a lot of mice traps. Here's the bedroom here. All right, so Daniel's gonna go and tap on the uh, ceiling so I can kind of get a general idea of where they're hearing the, the activity. Okay guys, so they're down below tapping. Okay. All right, so now that we have a general idea, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove all the insulation above the master bedroom. And that'll kind of give us an idea. I've already seen quite a bit of rat poop in some areas. So we'll just kind of follow. For the most part though, it's it's not as, as bad as I thought for 18 years. We're gonna go ahead and start containing the closet, see what we can do to find any entry points on that side. We're gonna go ahead and put uh, floor protection from here to the uh, to the door here. So while the team is getting ready, I'm gonna go ahead and do a perimeter check, kind of see if what we can find, if anything, on the outside closest to that bedroom. There's a shed here, guys. Sheds are always a, a great uh, place. They love, love sheds. A sewer clean out right there. I literally just heard something in this area right here, you could see that they've uh, netted this off between the Lees and Debbies and the neighbors. But I literally just heard something scruffle in here and head out that uh, underneath that netting and that fence. Here's the back of the house here. You could see that they've uh, even attempted to put some wire mesh across this fence line here from all of the uh, trees and shrubbery there. So dogs over there dogs on the other side and they also have dogs so definitely attracted to pet food they love dog and uh, but as you can hear Debbie she puts that food away immediately when the dog is finished eating so that's good there so you got to compile all of these clues ask the right questions and uh, and it sort of leads you to the right direction so see what happens one thing I did notice in the attic is we're able to stop right here to this flat portion of the wall but you see how that little indention comes out we can't get to that area covering the closets here the sick no plastic anytime you're dealing with closets and nice clothes you want to be able to especially if you're disturbing stuff in the attic you want to protect them protect them and really nice and and Donna said that you heard them the last time was last week sometime yeah okay yeah it was last week and I went up because I thought maybe they were in the gutters I went and cleaned this gutter out that's what that ladder oh, doing. Oh, I saw there. that ladder there. Yeah. yeah, I cleaned the gut out and they, the noise went away. Interesting. Okay. So right. they must have heard me or something. But, but right here, right here, Jim, this is where the dog bowls are. Yeah. 24-7. Okay. 24-7. Yeah, when I walked up, I heard, uh, uh -huh. I heard stuff scurry right in here. Just it gotcha. shoot away. But you can see from going up here, you can see the dog bowls. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So that'll give you an idea. So you just go up and look over to the right. You can see, I'm sure they feel out like there. They don't, they, apparently they don't. Pick, oh, yeah. They don't pick the other clothes. Yeah. Yep, I see the dog bowls right there. Yep. 
and they out there 24 7. Okay. Right. All right, you can see uh, some rat droppings here. And as we uh, opened up the, remove the insulation, you got a dead rat. Let's shut the lights off real quick and see if we see any uh, any daylight anywhere. So let's get it dark in here. Right. Not seeing any, there's the gables over there. Not seeing anything that, that is obvious after turning off all the lights in the attic. All right, let's turn the lights back on. I say, I, the more I go inside, the more poop comes out. Okay, perfect. So we know that that's a good direction that we need to start heading over there towards that other side. We're up on the roof right now. We do see a couple entry points. Okay, here's a hole here, guys, you can tell. And then uh, we did find a dropping inside there. there that's an old one there look at that so that tree right there was cut about what'd you say two days ago sunday sunday okay yep and it was up against the house it was on the roof okay yeah because i'll show you here what i found because you were saying in the beginning it started in this room it started here, here. yeah and then it moved towards your master that's right okay so look at this right here that we found there's a, a hole there and there's paper there. See the chew marks up in there? You can see the paper. I can get a light in there, but I'll, I'll take a little. Right oh, up. I see that white paper. Y yeah. Oh, it looked like something there. Yeah. So Underneath there. the second tile. Yes, there gotcha. you go. Yep. So the branches, if they were there, they could have easily gone through there, but that, that paper there is all bit and chewed up. Gotcha. So we're going to close that up. All right, so we uh, Daniel's coming out of that big hole there, or that small hole, I should say. Unbelievable. Hey, Daniel. Any other, uh, any, nothing? So you're thinking they're coming in through the areas that we uh, covered today? Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. That was an epic crawl. Yeah, guys, so what we've done is we've done a com complete perimeter of this attic. Uh, very, very thorough. We've shut lights off. So I believe uh, we're now just going to have to sort of trap aggressively and do the final cleanup and then kind of monitor from there. This is what a hot attic does, guys. That is pure sweat. <laughs> Here's all the insulation that we removed out of the attic. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Gorilla Glue since this house has uh, rats coming from dogs on each side plus dogs here. We're gonna go ahead and use um, Gorilla Crazy Glue and then we want to be able to glue the dog food on there so the rat can stay in the kill zone a lot longer without grabbing the bait and heading out. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and set up the twin trap. We're gonna go ahead and uh, insert our enzyme inside the holding tank here. So it's got the uh, zero right now, it's got the counter. We baited it with uh, dog food. All right, there's the feeder right there. So the uh, the rats are gonna climb up here, hit that feeder, and then they're gonna get dunked inside this uh, holding tank. And we have the access right there so we can monitor and look at the uh, look at the counter. All right, guys, we went ahead and put the twin trap up in the attic with a couple other single snap traps on each side. We got the trail cam, see if we get any activity for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to come back and do the smoke test just to make sure and double check the uh, sewer and waste system. All right guys, long day. I did a lot of exclusion work, a lot of cleanup today. Super happy with the results and uh, let's see if our traps get anything overnight. All right guys, it's day two. We're going to perform our smoke test. Um, I checked the twin trap up in the attic and the other trap. No activity. The camera didn't show any activity. We're going to go ahead and form the smoke test as a final sort of step and then we're going to monitor over the next uh, few weeks. Probably start over there on the bathroom bench over there on that side where we're getting most of the activity. All right, we've got the smoke machine going on and we're also going to put, because uh, uh, Lee's got a lot of birds, you can see here, we're gonna put some of these uh, bird be gone just as a kind of an extra added protection here. So we get a lot of calls too, guys, where the scratching is really from birds up on the uh, up on the roof. 
and so the scratching and the walking around has that transfer noise transfer so you may want to inspect your roof as well man i'm telling you i'm impressed oh <laughs> so you're you're happy with the services so far oh yeah i no, love it no I doubt about it man yeah what uh lee when i asked you a specific question is when that tree was trimmed and you told me two days ago, mm -hmm. three days ago, and I found that big hole with the chew mark of that paper. Right. That's the main suspect area right there. Gotcha. I yeah. gotta keep that tree off. That's right. That right there for this side of the house was the main entry point. And then on this side, right over where the kitchen, where we found your kitchen vent line, right, right on that side on the ridge was a big hole as well. And on then, the, then, okay, on the- On the other, on that ridge, to your side to your side house okay thank it's you a man pleasure pleasure oh, absolutely and okay. we'll be talking tell you, your brother i said hello man uh, you got it <laughs> all right guys you see how important it is as a thorough inspection that insulation was never moved around from the other pest control company so that's telling us they never really took a deep dive into that attic to do a thorough inspection you know daniel went up into the small little crevices yes it's tight that's what you have to do that's the effort that needs to be performed in order to really figure out where their entry points are so we covered about 10 to 15 different holes as well so super super happy all right guys another happy customer leave your comments down below hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one